Hello students, me again. We're going to be working on lesson 77 today, delivering a presentation. So in lesson 71, you will add notes to a presentation, learn about presentation delivery, and we will be delivering a presentation. So um, for 71A, it's all about creating notes. So Notes, if used properly, can help the beginning speaker feel more comfortable giving the presentation. Speakers who are comfortable and relaxed tend to deliver a natural polished presentation. Notes should not be used to read to the audience. They should highlight the main points of the talk or, and remind you of what you want to say about each slide. Notes can be added to slides using the note pane in normal view. You also can key notes in note page view. Notes do not display when you play a slideshow. However, you can print the notes on note pages. A notes page shows the slide and the notes below the slide. Use the notes to help you remember details you give the presentation. You also can use the printed notes page as handouts for the audience. The top portion of the note page is shown in figure 1023. Note that the, the font size of the notes was increased from Calibri 12 to 16 to make it easier for the presenter to use the notes during the presentation. To key notes, you click the notes button on the status bar which is right here and then you can click to type in your notes um, so for 71a what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Fenwick dance um, so let's go to our keyboarding 8 folder Data files, DF, 71, Fenwick Dance, which, hmm. oh, right here, DF, 71, Fenwick Dance Notes. We'll go ahead and open that up. This file contains the notes Mrs. Miss Fenwick would like to include with the first five slides. It says to also open 70 Fenwick Dance. So we're going to go here, go to our Chapter 10 folder, and open up that 70 Fenwick Dance slide. It says that on slide 1, we're going to display the notes pane and key the notes for slide 1 as shown in figure 1024. Okay, so we're going to type in welcome. Okay, and introduce dance instructor. Doors, Miss Fenwick Ballet, Mr. Whoops, my keyboarding's a little shaky. Mr. McKinley Jazz and Miss. Red Fern Tap. Okay. It says to continue keying the notes for slides two through five. All right. So um, over here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of uh, make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to move that over here. So I'm going to go to slide two. And I'm going to click on the notes pane down here for slide two. Oh, there we have it. And it says that we're going to type um, former student.
students now performing. And we're going to add uh, Sean Williams, San Francisco Ballet, Maria, oops, and I spelled Francisco wrong. Let's see, meet Maria Rod. Rodriguez, UCLA Jazz Troupe, and Jennifer Ashton, New York School of Dance. Okay, then we'll go to slide three and we'll add these notes. Okay, um, Three dance styles um, being performed tonight featuring beginning students and advanced students. Ballet, jazz, and tap. Oops, top, tap. Okay. And let's see, let's go to slide four. We're going to add in our notes for that. It says, we begin with the ballet students. And ballet dancers dancing to Swan Lake Compo composition by Tchaikovsky in eighteen seventy six story of a princess turned into a swan. All right, <clears throat> and then slide five. Our beginning ballet performers are Sarah Schultz, Marcia Ramos, oops, Trent Stevens, and Tara McKinley, and Todd Day. All right. So we type them all in. It says, to see how the notes pages look, follow the path at the left to display the note pages. So we're going to go, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger now. Go to the View tab, and it says to click on Notes Page View. All right, and so that's how it will look. Says um, to click the next slide or previous slide several times to view all of the notes pages. So I know I'm on slide five, so I want to click um, the next slide button or previous slide button, which is right here, to view all of the notes that I added. Okay, to see the notes, you just click click down to go through them. Okay. Um, Then it says to go to slide one, so I'm going to go back up to slide one, and it says to um, play the slide, so I'm going to click slideshow, and to notice that the slide, the notes do not display. Okay, I'm going to hit the escape, and it says to print handouts, click the file tab, and choose print. Okay, we aren't actually going to print these. Um, but 
in for future reference, if you would like to print, it says um, use the down arrow in each box to select the number of slides. So, um, so it says print all slides. Instead, we could type in one through five, okay, and it will um, only print the first five slides. If we wanted to print our notes, we could change, um, instead of print full pages, we could print, choose um, six slides vertical, and um, we could change our orientation to landscape, and um, Or we could change it, for instance, to uh, print one-sided, landscape, grayscale, custom range. Or we could change it to handouts. For some reason, I'm not sure why our notes aren't showing up on this page. Hmm. All right, well, we're not going to print But I think we did everything correctly, so I'm not, I'm not really sure why it's not uh, Why it's not letting us Choose what we're supposed to choose so um, in that case, we're just going to click the back arrow and we're going to save our presentation as um, 71 Fenwick Dance. So go to your Chapter 10 folder and save 71 Fenwick Dance. And it says um, to close it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. All right, um, some presentation tips. So planning and preparing a presentation is only half the task of giving a good presentation. The other half is the delivery. Positive thinking is a must for a good presenter. Prepare and practice before a presentation. This helps you to be confident that you will do a good job. Do not worry that the presentation will not be perfect. Set a goal to be a better speaker each time you give a speech not to be a perfect speaker. Practice the following presentation tips to improve your presentation skills. So you need to know your message. Knowing the message well allows you to talk with the audience rather than read to them. You should always look at the audience. Make eye contact with one person briefly for two or three seconds, then move on to another. Know how to use visuals, okay? Um, <clears throat> practice using the visual aids you have chosen for the presentation. Glance at each visual as you display it, then focus on the audience. Vary your volume and rate at which you speak. Slow down to emphasize main points and speed up on points that you know are fairly familiar to your audience. Look confident. Stand tall and show that you want to communicate with the audience. Let your personality come through. Be natural. Let the audience know who you are and show your enthusiasm for the topic you are presenting. And then finally, use gestures and facial expressions. A smile, frown, or puzzled look, when appropriate, can help communicate your message. Make sure your gestures are natural. Okay, so um, for 71C, you are going to open your 70 school presentation that you worked on lesson 70, and um, you're going to click the spelling button to review how to um, to proofread and correct all errors. Um, you're going to add notes to your pages where appropriate, and you can actually can print these out. 
Then you're going to review the information you have prepared for your presentation. Decide which information will be presented by each team member and practice delivering the presentation. Finally, we're going to deliver the presentation to the class when we're all prepared. At the um, beginning of the presentation, we're not going to hand out copies of... Um, well, actually, you know what we are. We're going to do the 71 feedback forms, and I'll, I will do that, so you guys don't need to print them out. Ask each listener to complete the form immediately after your presentation. Also give the listeners the handouts before you begin your presentation. So I will worry about doing that. And then um, when we're done, you guys can look at your feedback forms and see how well we did. Okay? So... Um, you guys are going to present your school presentation form or presentation as a group and but you need to make sure that you follow the presentation tips and possibly even add notes. Um, another thing that you could do is you could add transitions and animations. So transitions are the visual change between slides. To insert a transition, you select the slide, click the Transitions tab, then choose a transition from the transition to the slide gallery. So here's the transition tab up here. You can choose any of these to help. Um, animations are used to apply motion to objects as they appear or disappear from a slide. So you use the Animations tab to help you with this. Basically, first you always select an object, then you click the Animations tab, then you can choose um, an animation. Okay. Um, it says to use the Animations tab to customize the animation. So, Animation tab, you can add and change things using some of the advanced features. All right. Um, good luck with presenting your presentations and um, continue working well with your teammate. Good luck.